Software patterns are a mechanism for capturing domain knowledge in a way that allows it to be reapplied when a new problem is encountered. Remember, a domain is referencing problems of a similar type. So maybe you're working in an accounting domain where you're working on a program to handle the accounting department. Well, the accounting department at another company might be a little bit different. It's going to be more similar than different. Therefore, if you can create an accounting pattern, that will make it very easy to work on other accounting projects. So clearly, in some cases, knowledge can be easily applied to a new problem within the same domain. In other cases, the domain knowledge captured by a pattern can still be applied, but by analogy to a completely different application domain. You generally do not start a project with the intention of creating a pattern. Rather, you find it as you have created your application and are now documenting the process, seeing how it can be applied to other systems and projects. A good example of this is the website Shopify. It allows anyone to fairly easily create an e-commerce store. However, it was originally built to sell a specific product. However, they quickly saw that they could allow other products to be sold and thus create more of a platform to use to solve the problem of how to create e-commerce stores. Requirements analysis takes time, but it's faster than solving the wrong problem. The larger the problem, the more time needs to be spent on the analysis. The more experience the team has, the better it will be at determining if there's an existing pattern that they could use and knowing how to apply it to the current problem.